we just got this first official POV of Kentucky Flyer. So let's take a look at this and see what we have here. Goes up this small lift hill very quickly. Has these awesome custom timber liner trains that look like the airplane. That's pretty cool there. Really awesome looking. Go down this first 52 degree drop. Hit this double up section. We're going to have some great air time here it looks like. Haul through this turn here. And then we're going to hit the course back to the station. We have several great looking air time moments. This triple down here. We're going to hit a couple more bunny hills, another airtime pop, and then the final brakes. Obviously, this is a very short ride. It's a small family coaster manufactured by Gravity Group. It's only 1,280 feet in length, but there are going to be 12 airtime moments on this. So a very short ride, but it's going to have a lot of airtime packed into that. It's actually really impressive now thinking about it and looking at the POV. We have a ride that is from first drop to final brakes, only about roughly 25 seconds in length. And there's going to be 12 airtime moments. That's actually really impressive. It's going to have a height of 47 feet, a drop of 45 feet, and a top speed of 35 miles per hour. So I'm really looking forward to riding this at some point, actually. I've heard a lot of great things about these small Gravity Group family coasters. You know, rides like Wooden Warrior at Kwasi, Oscar's Wacky Taxi at Sesame Place heard lots of great things about these rides and gravity group is actually known in the united states for these smaller rides as besides their first three coasters they ever built all in the united states which were bigger very thrilling wooden coasters they're known for these smaller rides and it seems like they do a really good job with them kentucky kingdom is definitely a park i want to get out to in the next couple years and they have a great small collection of coasters. And I think Kentucky Flyer is really gonna round out their lineup of coasters really well, as they really right now only have a kitty coaster and then four very thrilling coasters. They don't really have anything that's in between, something that people looking to get on more thrilling coasters can sort of transition into the bigger rides with. You know, they just have the really small one and then four really intense rides. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this is going to bring to the park in terms of a better overall experience. I think it'll be great for them. I think a lot of enthusiasts are going to love this ride. It definitely looks to be really fun, have some great ejector airtime moments for sure. And I want to hear what you guys think about Kentucky Flyer. Are you excited to get out and ride this soon? I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys all think about this ride. Make sure to comment below if you guys are going to ride Kentucky Flyer this year. And are you really looking forward to it? I think it's going to be really exciting. Be sure to stay tuned. I've got some more great content coming in the near future. I just hit 300 subscribers, so thank you all very much. And I've gained about five new subscribers today alone as of the recording of this video. So welcome, everybody. Thanks for tuning in here. I'm actually thinking about a new series that I will start and I will probably release the first video of that series here in the really near future and just see how it goes over with you guys. I'm really looking forward to it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. My name is Coaster Daddy. Bye.